What's up guys, Shane here from Fucadec 3D Printing and today we're checking out the October 2018 MakerBox. Welcome back guys, favorite time of the month. As you all know, it is MakerBox time. Now MakerBox is going through some changes. We're gonna talk about those later, but right now this is the standard box you can currently get. Again, if that's a little bit mysterious, don't worry, we'll share more later. But this is the current box you can get right now. And it has four samples that you get on a monthly basis. It's $19 a month if you get it monthly, and it's double that if you get the bi-monthly, uh, especially like international customers. And then you can get all eight samples every other month, saves on customs, things like that. But we're gonna go ahead and check this one out, and I'm excited, as I always am, because you never know what you're gonna get. That's the joy about this. There's, it's a huge learning opportunity for anyone, whether you're new to 3D printing or not, and it, you never know what can come. It could be wood filament, could be you know, metal filament, could be regular PLA, could be a cool PETG. There's lots of different things that can come in this box. So let's see what this month is. All right, as usual, we have some type of little candy. Here we got little Harbio gummy bears. We have an IC 3D sticker, and then we have a I'd rather be 3D printing, uh, desktopmakes.com, little sticker there for them then we have the page here so uh do, 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 do. so right this one tells you uh, there's a discount code on here for the current filaments that are in this box and past filaments you can get to there's a password on here and it gets you into that part of the website uh, they also have so this one's a little bit different here awesome stuff coming soon the 3d printing nerd joe telling will be coming out to to curate the december box He'll be making a video as well, and he'll also be hosting a meetup at Printed Solid in Newark, Delaware on November 10th. That's already passed <laughs> since I'm recording this video now and no later in November. It takes a while for me to get boxes, so I'm usually a little bit behind when these things happen. Uh, but he did go there, and he did sign some boxes, which is cool. I'd love to have a signed box by Joel. I'd love to meet that guy anyways. Um, so there's going to be a chance uh, later... Uh, on their on the um, their website and on their Facebook page and in the Facebook group, they'll be sharing some more stuff there. Uh, Black Friday weekend at Printersolo.com is the biggest sale of all time in 3D printing. And this should be bigger than ever. Make sure to visit Printersolo.com on November 23rd to 26th. Uh, Printed Solid is now the ones that run MakerBox, so that's why there's a lot here on that. Uh, done with the boring stuff. Now. Let's get on with the filament. Okay, we have a black PETG by IC3D. It's a very black and it's very PETG. A stiff filament. All right, the print settings, a hot temperature of 240 to 270C, bed temperature, room to 50C. I disagree, usually you do PETG at at least 70, uh, but that's just me. I guess I normally just do that. Um, speed not specified, PETG 50, is usually the higher end of what you should be printing it at, unless you have some really high end machine, then you can go higher, but most normal 3D printers, 50 millimeter a second is fast enough. Fan, lower off, yes. Uh, so the info is a giant grab <laughs> on here. Um, it's made in America. It's printed in Ohio, USA. Uh, their the diameter is within a 0 0.05 millimeter tolerance. As you guys may or may not have known, that's on the higher end of tolerance scale, meaning that is on the, or the looser end, I should say. There's a lot more flex in their filament with that. More premium filaments will be a 0.3 and very few uh, claim to have a 0 0.02 millimeter uh, tolerance, which is very, very close. But either way, we'll see how this turns out versus a bunch of other PTs I've tried. All right, we have PLA2, which is green, from Filicube, and it is this very interesting, very pale green color, I'd say. It turns up well. All right, the hot end temperature, 199 to 230. Bed temperature, room to 50 C. Speed, 30 to 90 per second. Fan, 100% PLA. Blast that sucker with as much air as you can. It'll come out much better. Uh, after Filicube introduced PLA and PLA Plus filaments, they are proud to introduce their second generation of PLA filament which is called PLA2, it's this one. PLA2 filaments have increased resilience, so it's less brittle, a smooth surface finish, stronger layer adhesion, low shrinkage, and little to no warping. That's very good. Filicube like filaments are proudly made in Houston, Texas. So a lot of people are sporting that now, making sure you know where filaments are made. So that, that'll be interesting to see. I think I've tried Filicube before. In a previous box, probably. They probably sent it through. But uh, yeah, low warp is a pretty good thing. Uh, this seems like... Is this the extra roll? Um, 
maybe yeah this this one just seems heavier i think this is the extra uh spool normally they say it on the sheet here uh, but i think this is the 20 meter spool okay now we have from form future tibra 3d sculpt t-h-i-b-r-a 3d sculpt s-k-u-l-p-t odd super flexible filament here all right the hot temperature 190 to 220 bed temperature 45 to 60 speed medium from form future so medium i would probably say 50 or less my opinion fan 100 percent other heat part to 70c with a heat gun to sculpt interesting well you're already heating it to pretty high anyways all right so sculpt is a unique sculptable 3d printer filament materialized by fabra fibra 3d which allows one to post one to post process sculpt 3d printed sculpted objects similar to sculpting clay i don't know we'll see how how maybe I'll do my coin and see if I can push it in at all. Um, main thing I want to worry about is how printable is this. Form Futra, I did not have the best track record with me. I'm sorry they don't. Um, a lot of their filaments have come out pretty bad to me. I don't know, maybe it's just I just don't understand the way they do their filaments. Sometimes they turn out good, but most of the time they've been bad. Let's hope this one's different and we'll give it a shot. Okay, and here is NatureWorks 3D 850 high temperature PLA. Also a very big spool. It just seems like these two are much longer than others. Anyways, hot end temperature 190 to 30C, bed temperature room to 50C, speed 30 to 70 meters a second, fan 100%, other none. All right, so it's pure US made high quality NatureWorks Ingo, Indio, I don't know, 3D 850. PLA with no added colorants, more flexible and durable than standard PLA, can also be annealed at 8130C for improved temperature resistance. So, um, oh, this is US monofilaments. I didn't I didn't look at the, <laughs> the name down there. Uh, US monofilaments, yes. So uh, I actually do have some more filament coming from them to do big review on. I have reviewed their filament before. I think this one's a little bit different maybe than the HT PLA they sent me before. Um, which actually is sitting on this printer right here. Uh, but this was also their PH, PLA HH. But that was a very early version of the filament that I got. So I'm not 100% sure if this is the same or not. Anyways, yeah, throw this on the printer and let's see how all of these turn out. Be right back with the results. All right, so four filaments were printed, but not all four came out perfectly. Three of them did, one did not. And then we're gonna talk about the Form Future Fibra 3D sculpt. It's a very cool idea, but it did not work at all because it, the nozzle's too hot. I don't understand what you're supposed to print with your nozzle being so close to it. It's emitting way hotter than 70 centigrade air or like an ambient, the, I don't know what the, the thermal, you know, bleed off over space. Well, it's only like, you know, five millimeters away from the part at most, uh, of course it's going to just look like crap. <laughs> it just completely just went blah. It looks like you just kind of took like a regular print, blow torch the center of it, and it just went sunk into it. Did not work at all. Pretty upset about that. But I did, um, totally separate note though, I remember how I was kind of confused on the weight of these. So the Phillip cube and the US monofilaments were both bonus size rolls. So these were 24 meters versus the standard 16 meters. That's why I was kind of like, these kind of look a little bit uh, large. Uh, Matt did give me a hard time about not having a scale. I probably should, uh, but either way, these were both longer ones compared to the PTG and the Form Futra thing that that was. So now you want to see how they turned out. So let's get a closer look. All right. So first up, we're going to do the PLA two, which is green from fill cube. And it came out pretty good. Uh, I did have some under extrusions here on the top, not under extrusion, but I just uh, should have up my extrusion multiplier a little bit more on these top layers. Normally it fills in with three top layers, but for this one, it just didn't, it was a little pimply. So my retraction was off by just a hair, just here on these top parts right here, a little bit of pimpling going on. But the sidewalls, everything came out nice and smooth. And on the bottom, it performed like a, a normal PLA will. It's nothing you know, premium about it. 
you can see uh, over where the supports were, you can really see it had a little bit of struggle laying down nice and smooth. One, this one wasn't too bad, but this down here was pretty bad. And then if you look at the cogs, you can see how they're kind of like flattened off and you can see the rippling and all that in there. They just didn't adhere very well to each other. Maybe if I was, I mean, you can't really go any hotter because any hotter would make this even worse. Cooler really wouldn't help either. It's just how well it, you know, cools down. So that just, like I said, it wasn't, you know, exactly perfect, but it did, you know, do okay. This was on the Anycubic i3 Mega, so it has that nice ultra base bottom to it. Uh, other than that, you know, pretty good print. You know, it's a good, it's an okay standard PLA, but nothing to, you know, write home about. All right now, looking here at the PETG, it's black, obviously, from IC3D. This came out great. Uh, this was also printed on the Anycubic i3 Mega. There's a little bit of stringing in there. You can see right through here. A little bit, which happens with PETG, uh, but again, nothing really to write home about. And it, you know, has a real nice sheen to it. Sidewalls came out great. No under extrusions noted anywhere, at least that I could see. And the bottom, everything turned out pretty good. It did, a, a, I would say, a, above average job over the supports here. It's actually pretty smooth if you run your finger in there, which is nice. Bottom layers came out good. And going here off the cogs, there's a little bit of roughness on like the first maybe like 10 layers, but after that, it evened itself out pretty good. And you can see how nice and rounded all those cogs are right up here. And, but you can see it's a little bit of roughness here in the beginning parts, right around here. But that's okay, uh, you know, it happens on some of them. But I thought this was actually pretty good PETG compared to a lot of ones that I've tried. I like this one. All right, and here we have the NatureWorks 3D 850 High Temp PLA from US Monofilaments. It's really hard to show how good a transparent filament works out, uh, especially when you're doing a model with actual infill. All I can say is that you can go by feel, because it's really hard to show on camera. It's hard to even see in person. But it came out amazingly smooth. This was printed on the Monoprice i3. It's so the little black one, not the Select Mini, the Monoprice Mini i3. Totally different machine, uh, much cheaper. It's a $100 3D printer, and it just printed this fantastic. You can see here along the sides how nice and smooth all of those are. I mean, it is really, really smooth. Bottom layers were nice. It was printed on glue with a little bit of glue stick there. So there's a little bit of residue on that part right there, but the rest is gone. And again, over the supports, you can't tell at all. It did pretty well. This support here actually came off on the bed. It stuck to the bed and the print just came away from it. So that was great to see. And these ones, it was very easy to remove, but no stringing, no under extrusions that at least you can see. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't notice any anywhere. Uh, and I mean, I thought that was actually a really nice print uh, and I, I like it. I actually just received a full roll today as I'm recording this of this filament from them to review. So this is kind of a good indication on how that's gonna perform. Kablow. Here is the Thobra 3D Sculpt from Form Futra. As I said, it looks like it took like a blowtorch like right to the middle and it just didn't do anything. I mean, it almost was like I had no infill is almost what it looks like here. But I promise you, there's infill there. It just did not do well at all. The first layer went down. This was printed on the uh, Prusa i3 Mark III and the walls were coming out okay. But yeah, this center part, once it just, there was so much heat going on in here, it just, you know, threw it down right there. I mean, it's actually quite a strong, it's actually really strong to try and squeeze this. It's really a strong filament. But why, I don't, I don't get why this, I don't understand how you would print a model to be able to sculpt from if you can't actually print the model. I don't know. I'm going to talk to, to Matt at Print and Salt about this, see what his thoughts are on it. I personally thought it was a big hoax, so definitely stay clear of this stuff. And the rain has started yet again. <laughs> you can't get away from it, I tell you. Okay, so yeah, this stuff, I think it's a big hoax. Uh, it's almost like the wax filament. I, I think I got that to print like half a print and then it ended up just going to crap. Um, that would be, it's really cool to like print something and then to be able to cast it from that wax print. But it was like really hard to print with. It was like, you printed like 150 centigrade, I think. So you had to edit your firmware on your printer to be able to actually print that low because most printers have a minimum temp threshold of 170 centigrade. That's pretty standard in Marlin, unless the manufacturer, whoever creates that, that version of the firmware has changed it. So like editing firmware to do something, that's a totally different thing. This I think is a big hoax. Uh, so definitely 
stay away from this, but if you have printed with this, please let me know. I would love to see someone have an actual decent print with this because I did not. So there's the prints from this month's MakerBox. I had a lot of fun with it. Again, learning new things. Again, seeing this here is a good precursor on how the, the full spool is gonna be once I actually review it. And you can't see on the camera, but uh, they sent me actually four spools of their filament. A lot of it is pre-production uh, stuff, so it's not in like their, their actual uh, shipment box. It's in a, you know, it's just a general thing. So that'll be really fun to try and test that out, and they want to get my thoughts on how it is. So I'll definitely be checking that out real soon. Again, otherwise, uh, this is a great way to learn. If you guys are interested in joining the Maker Box, go down below. There will be a link and a coupon code. Go ahead and click that link. Use the coupon code to get 15% off your first box. And starting like next month or like the next few days, well from this, so it'll probably be already released by the time this video comes out. Anyways, MakerBox is going. They're not doing the one box anymore. They're actually gonna do three different boxes. So there's gonna be a, the easy print box. So it's gonna be all PLAs from the same company. So for example, US Monofilament would get four different colors of PLA, put it in that box, and that's what you would receive. Then they have a more of a uh, experimental, I forget the, the name of it, but exotics. So all of the exotic material. So it would be like this Flobra Sculpt, or it would be PTGs, or Iron Filled, or any type of filled PLA, or any type of filled filaments, I should say, or those hard to print things, they're gonna be in the more experienced box. So if you're really into 3D printing and you wanna challenge yourself, you can go with that one. And then there's the all the things box, which again, I don't remember the exact name of these boxes, but I'll put links down below. You guys can check out the website once it's published and you can change it up. But that gives you both of them and you get a $5 discount by buying both of them. So I think they're both $20 boxes. You end up getting both boxes for $35 as one box instead of buying them separately. And I think, uh, I do think they're still working on international, but that'll be out later. But if you subscribe to any of those, again, you still get the 50% off down below. And every three subscribers, I end up getting a free box. So this month was free. I thank you guys so much for that. It's a uh, much <laughs> less, one less thing that I am worried about paying for because again, YouTube is not fantastic about that. So there's a lot of options to make a box. So please head down below and check that kind of stuff out. And I wanna thank you guys for watching. This video was a little bit longer than I was hoping. I'm sorry about that. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you either way how you think about my videos or what you think about my videos. That's better. If you guys want to stay in tune what's going on, hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to support me financially, right below me is my Patreon link. Donate a dollar more, you get access to my Patreon feed, and you get access to my after show, which I record after almost all my videos. So please head down there, check it out. Video description, lots of other ways you can donate via one-time donations, or you can go ahead and use my affiliate links and coupon codes, save yourself some money. A little slice of what you buy comes back here to help me. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, happy printing.